All right, I'm roasting about five cups of breadcrumbs for those of you who are asking about my bread pudding. I put some butter there and I'm roasting them for a little bit, maybe like 15 minutes. Make them a little bit crunchy. And in the meantime, in a low heat, I am going to melt my butter and my brown sugar. Just slowly. After this is melted, I will gradually add the eggs. Let's put a bit a higher here. Yeah. Because this is like a whole carton of milk, about one quart. And then this is one of those mini butter. I just dump it in. Sorry, I don't have the exact recipe. But you know what I found? I found Manong Scotch whiskey sitting in the fridge. Hey, why not? Enjoy. And I put some vanilla. Okay. We're not going to make whiskey caramel today because for this is for Manam and me, uh, we want less sugar. But the one we did for the party, I made whiskey caramel. Now, what I have here are five eggs. Let's make it simple. For every cup of uh, breadcrumb, I use one egg. So now I have five eggs that I just beat. Both egg white and egg yolk, it's okay. So, I really don't want to bring this to a boil. All it is is basically just melting the sugar and the butter. I can, yeah. Okay, I took it off from the heat and now I will gradually add the egg yolk just gradually and stir so uh, because it's just me here and I'm doing both so there see there's no lump just gradually add them and keep stirring as you add them and that will be fine all right and now we will prepare our bread pudding which is in the oven I forgot to tell you that I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon. And then I um, drain some fruit. Chopped apples would be nice because it's already dried. You can use dried dates. But, you know, we're making use of whatever is available in Manang's pantry. And yeah, raisins always perfect. You see, you don't put the spices directly to the bread because it will get concentrated. Instead, add it to the uh, liquid. So, after I stick all these things here, yeah, I try to stick them in there. Mm. Yeah, you get the idea. Sure this is all mixed up and then I will just um, pour this over there and by the time it has to be completely soaked I think about an hour at the very least up to maybe if you have time some people do it like overnight well that's good too it's what's really important is the bread gets really soaked all of it. So the secret of being fluffy is the bread and not too much bread. Here we're using kind of dense, you know, kind of dense bread. Because this is from the um, regular sweet bread like uh, shala bread, which is fine. You can use the bread with holes like sardo or French bread because those holes makes it airy but if you use too much bread and less liquid it will still going to be dense so it's important that you have sufficient liquid 
So let's see how this works, okay? Is it hot? <laughs> okay, all right. Here we go. Remember, I put some whiskey. As long as you completely cover them, we're good. And if they're not fully covered, you know what? You can make um, additional milk mix. You can use some half and half or heavy cream mixed with uh, full milk. It's up to you. It helps that you press them. Okay. And let them soak for the next hour or so before bake it. All right. See you.